clarification on that. You talked about how this was a show of force. One of the reasons is the press coverage so far of this bill has been virtually non-existent. You're right. If you do polling on, do you support protecting the right to vote? I, I'm amazed that's not 100 percent. Protecting the right to vote is a wonderful thing. You know, if you also do polling on, do you support the fuzzy kittens and puppy law, that has really good support in the polls, too. If you actually ask people about what is in this bill, it is incredibly unpopular. Democrats don't want to talk about getting rid of voter ID because 70 to 80 percent of Americans support it. A majority of Democrats support it. A majority of African Americans support it. They don't want to talk about that. Democrats don't want to talk about getting rid of the ballot harvesting laws because people recognize that invites corruption. When you have ballot harvesting, you get a paid operative from the DNC who goes in to, say, a nursing home and collects dozens or hundreds of ballots, some of, whom, some of which are from people who may not be competent to vote. And the reason it invites frauds is they're sitting right there, and if that person votes the wrong way, there's nothing to stop an unscrupulous operative from just throwing that ballot in the trash can and only mailing in the votes that vote the way they want. That's why Jimmy Carter said ballot harvesting invites voter fraud. And I will say in terms of press coverage, I saw a recent analysis that, that, that the corporate media has covered the Georgia and Texas laws and the allegations that they're voter suppression laws, which is complete nonsense, more than 10 times as much as the corporate media has covered this brazen national power grab from the Democrats. And I get it doesn't fit, fit an attractive political narrative for what many in the media want. But you want to know just how brazen this power grab is? I'll point you to one provision just in closing. From the day it was created, the Federal Election Commission has been bipartisan. The Federal Election Commission was created in the wake of Watergate, in the wake of political scandal. You had Democrats in total control. They could have created a partisan agency, but they, did, they didn't do that. They created an agency with three Republicans, three Democrats, because they recognized if you're going to administer federal elections, it should be fair and, and bipartisan. What does the Corrupt Politicians Act do? It turns it into a partisan agency. It makes it three Democrats and two Republicans. What would happen if they did that? Just ask yourself if Chuck Schumer had the ability to investigate any Senate candidate he wanted, to have the FEC sue any Senate candidate he wanted, to have the FEC fine any Senate candidate he wanted, and it was a straight partisan commission. It's not hard to see how that is nothing but a weapon. I promise you every Republican senator would be investigated, would be fine, and it would all happen in October right before the election. That's wrong, and let's be clear, when Republicans had majorities, we didn't say let's make the Federal Election Commission a Republican commission to go investigate and prosecute the Democrats. This is a power grab. And I think the press has an obligation to cover it fairly and tell the American people what's in this bill. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.